Receiving professional care in a hospital or a care home can be stressful, especially for people living with dementia. Hello, I'm Hannah, and in this episode of the podcast, I speak to helpline advisor Sandra about This Is Me, a helpful resource for people with dementia who are receiving professional care. We talk about how, for a professional, knowing a little bit more about someone can make it easier to take a person-centred approach to care and make a person stay in hospital or care home more pleasant. So first of all, could you tell me some of the issues that people with dementia can face when receiving professional care? Going into care is often a very difficult decision to make. It's um, an anxious time for both someone with li- living with dementia and those that are nearest and dearest to them. A change of environment heightens confusion and that makes someone with dementia who already suffers from anxiety uh, all the more anxious and agitated. For someone who has been directly caring for someone with dementia, it's often a very upsetting time. What are the environments that tend to cause the most problem for people with dementia? Potentially anything that's new. Even going to a relative, um, that if it's not commonplace, it's not routine. But then when we're talking about as dementia progresses and carers aren't able to care for their loved one anymore, then the possibility of going into a care home. Any information that's carried about that individual can make that transition easier. Well, all of us, you know, at some stage in our lives will we'll become ill and, and that is commonplace sometimes for pe- people who are elderly. You know, they may have a fall, so they have have to be hospitalised. You know, hospitals are very overwhelming environments for the best of us and for for an elderly person, a vulnerable person, especially someone with dementia. um, That is particularly challenging. What is the This Is Me resource? This Is Me is a resource that I'm very passionate about, actually. It's something that's grown in popularity as words got out, and we do get inquiries on the National Dementia Helpline about it. So just to describe it, it is an A4 document where someone's picture can be attached to the front and they would have their full name written at the front of that. Inside, it contains the history of that person from family background, routines that make the individual's life easier, um, considerations for specifics that may worry or upset them as an individual, and generally anything that's relevant to that individual which will make a transition into an unfamiliar place much easier for them. Ultimately, this document has been developed to help health and social care professionals build a better understanding of who that person really is and the document is laid out very plainly and is very straightforward. How do you feel this uh, empowers people with dementia? Ultimately it gives them a voice. For people with dementia as they lose their confidence, as they lose their abilities, communication is hindered you know Um, we're so reliant on our ability to communicate and for someone with dementia they they finally lose that ability to communicate. They may know what they feel or want, but they can't communicate that. In many cases, this will take away some of the stress involved in an environment such as a care home or a hospital where This Is Me can be used. What sort of information do you put into This Is Me? So it would be good for maybe listing personal care needs. Maybe if there's a particular time of the day someone prefers to be washed or they have a routine like a favourite sponge, eating and drinking considerations, you know, favourite foods, maybe even just from a health point of view, you know, um, things that they may be intolerant to, um, that can be listed in This Is Me. It sounds very simplistic, but that can... Um, make a huge difference. Why is it important that people delivering care know this information about a person with dementia? For someone who is working in a care home, it is frustrating not to be able to communicate with someone. As a care professional, you know, um, it's not very satisfying if you can't help someone. You see that element of vulnerability, but if you know more about them, then you can approach it with sensitivity. That added knowledge, you know, is not just empowering for the person with dementia, it's empowering as a care professional as well. So This Is Me could pinpoint, you know, why a person might become challenging. You know, very simple things. Can, can be very useful for care professionals. When it comes to This Is Me, I've only ever heard positive things. There's nothing negative about This Is Me at all because it's a document of truth. It's a very easy formula. It's a, we've used the word empowerment, but you know that, that does really explain what it does. It, it, it empowers a person. This takes a lot of the heartache out of um, residential care or um, a hospital environment. 
how does This Is Me aid care professionals in delivering person-centred care? It's about giving the background um, knowledge into that individual. Um, you see care professionals, they're trained in a certain way to maybe deal with social situations or medical situations, and that's very clinical. Um, whereas person-centred care is about an understanding of the individual. And all of us, you know, as individuals, if we start a job on the new day, on, on, on the first day of a job, we're anxious. People don't know our name, they don't know our personality, how we react to things. So we can all relate to that. So if we magnify this for someone with dementia, they haven't got the skills where they're able to um, rely on their short-term memory. They haven't got the skills where they're able to link their sentences together and communicate. This Is Me allows them to do all of this and hopefully, you know, when it's applied with all the, the medical expertise and the social expertise, that little bit of extra knowledge about an individual will give a, a, a more balanced quality of care. Well, have you had any feedback from healthcare professionals about the resource? When they come across it, they are very positive about it. We get large orders for it, uh, people wanting to know more, and it is very accessible as well. So it's not just a matter of getting through to the helpline and ordering or going online and going through our publications. You can download it off the website as well. So who is This Is Me aimed at? This Is Me is, well, as a society, we can talk about dementia. Um, and for someone with dementia, um, it's, it's almost like their passport of information. Um, anywhere that they're going, it would, it would follow them and it would make their life a lot easier. And it also gives a carer the peace of mind that they're not always going to be there to, to explain things for them. So when they're not there, it gives them that peace of mind. For more information and to get your own copy of This Is Me, go to alzheimers.org.uk forward slash this is me or phone the National Dementia Helpline on 0300 222 1122. Thank you for listening to the Alzheimer's Society podcast.